So we've gone through and we've scouted our game and we're ready to do video cutups. I'm going to go into the program, click Digital Editing and Scouting. Then from our list of games, we're going to select the game or games we want to use in our video cutups. So we could select one game if we wanted to, or we could select multiple games if we wanted to just by clicking it and highlighting it. This is nice because at the end of the season, if you wanted to find all of your three-point shots for your season, you could highlight each one of the 25 games you have. Or maybe you've got three or four uh, tapes of an opponent that you've gone through and you've scouted. You could go through now and you could search for different offensive situations or defensive situations. So the program allows you to scout and do video cuts from not just one game, but multiple games. So I highlight my game or my games that I want. Click the video button, and this is where I go in and tell it what I want to see. Let's say in this example I want to see all the shots that were taken from the shot zone that's called M. I'm going to go in and I'm going to give it a, an, an identification of, let's just say, M shot zone. Then I'll go from the field, I'll drop it down, and I'll select shot zone. In the middle I'll go equals, and on the uh, right I'll go M. So this is going to give me all the, shot, all the plays where the shot zone is equal to M. All right. I'm going to go to file and click perform search. It's going to give me a list of seven plays that match that search. Here's my list down here at the bottom. There are my seven plays. Now from here, if I wanted to, I can go in and click play, and I could just play each one of them one right after the other. There's no fast forwarding. There's no rewinding. If you had your 25 games from your season and you would ask for all your three-point shots, when it was done showing you the three-point shots from the first game, it would automatically go to the second game. You wouldn't have to worry about bringing tapes out and, and switching tapes every time. It's just very, it's automatic from one to the next. If you had an, uh, a VCR connected or a uh, external DVD burner connected, um, anytime you hit play right here, whatever's playing on the screen will uh, will also play back out to your your DVD recorder. So it's an easy way for you to record DVDs to an external recorder. All right, you can see when this play is over, automatically jumps to the beginning of the next one. Okay. Uh, another way to make a DVD, you can cl click the Create Movie button here and the create movie screen will pop up you can set your output file and let's just say I'm gonna do mine on my desktop I'll go ahead and type uh, M shots I'll go ahead and hit save so now it says you know my desktop here with M shots if I want to I can also include a title screen my M shot zone you know I can get fancy with this if I want to make it a little bit bigger maybe I want to Maybe I want to put my team colors in there. I can go ahead and do that. Maybe the background color I want it to be, um, let's say, black. Again, so you can get kind of fancy with the, uh, with the create movie you want to. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and hit the create button. And now it's going to go through and it's going to create you a separate movie file on your computer of just those seven plays. You could take this movie that's being created, you could copy it out to a DVD if you wanted to. Um, you, if players brought maybe flash drives to you, you could put it on flash drives for them and they could take it home. Uh, we're, we're creating a very standard Windows movie here, so you could actually take this video home. You could watch it on your Windows computer. You could probably watch it on your Mac computer. You could also compress it down if you wanted to, and you could put it up on your website. If you wanted to do, let's say, 10 of your team's best plays after the game is over, put it on the school's website for people to check out. Uh, you could email it off to people. I mean, there's a lot you can do with this movie uh, once it's made. So we'll go ahead and let it make here. Um, you can see as long as that bl blue bar is moving, we're still going. So we'll let that go through. All right, so it's done, rec it's done uh, creating the movie. We can go ahead and close the layer editor. And I'll just minimize the program right now. And if I look at my desktop now, here's my M shots. This is my video clip that just got created. So we can actually go through here now. And like I said, we can put it on a DVD. We can email. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. All right. That's, that's pretty much how you do the video cutups. From within this video button, you can ask for any situation you want, though. If you want to get real specific with it and say, you know, I want to see all the times that, you know, our team is equal to offense, so all the times we're on offense, when the result of the shot is equal to a made, when the jersey number of the person shooting is equal to 23, now you can get real specific. You're just going to find all the times that 23 on your team made the shot. So you can get real specific with the type of searches that you do. If you want to do a highlight film, you could say, show me all the times that notation 1 contained a 23. And now it'll find all the times that you put a 23 in that notation field. So again, it's an easy way for you to pull a highlight tape out at the end of the season. 
Uh, as long as you're, you're scouting yourself throughout the year and putting in those highlights, as soon as the last game is over and you're done scouting it, you can highlight all 25 games and ask for anything you want. Any jersey number you want, any offense you want to see, any play result, you know, anything you want. And uh, that's the video cut-ups.